Sio and John C, two young artists, shared a small flat. The flat was on the third story of an old house. John C fell very seriously ill in November. She had pneumonia. She would lie in her bed without moving, just gazing out of the window. Sio, her friend, became very worried. She sent for the doctor. Although he came every day, there was no change in John C's condition. One day, the doctor took Sue aside and asked her, "Is anything worrying, John C?" "No," replied Sue. "But why do you ask?" The doctor said, "It seems John C has made up her mind that she is not going to get well. If she doesn't want to live." medicines will not help her sio tried her best to make johnsy take an interest in things around her she talked about clothes and fashions but johnsy did not respond johnsy continued to lie still on her bed she brought her drawing board into johnsy's room and started painting to take johnsy's mind off her illness she whistled while working suddenly sue heard johnsy whisper something she quickly rushed to the bed and heard johnsy counting backwards she was looking out of the window and was saying 12 after some time she whispered 11 then 10 then 9 8 seven sue anxiously looked out of the window she saw an old ivy creeper climbing halfway up the brick wall opposite their window in the strong wind outside the creeper was shedding its leaves What is it dear Sue asked Six whispered John C They are falling faster now 3 days ago there were almost 100 leaves There are only 5 left now It is autumn said Sue and the leaves will fall When the last leaf falls I will die said John C with finality I have known this for the last 3 days Oh that's nonsense replied Sue What have old ivy leaves to do with your getting well The doctor is confident that you will get better John C did not say anything Sue went and brought her a bowl full of soup. I don't want any soup, said John C. I am not hungry. Now there are only four leaves left. I want to see the last one fall before it gets dark. Then I will sleep forever. Sue sat on John C's bed, kissed her and said, You are not going to die. I can't draw the curtain for I need the light. I want to finish the painting and get some money for us. Please my dear friend, she begged John C. Promise not to look out of the window while I paint. All right, said John C. Finish your painting soon for I want to see the last leaf fall i'm tired of waiting i have to die so let me go away peacefully like one of those poor tired leaves try to sleep said sue i have to paint an old miner i will call berman up to be my model Sue rushed down. Berman lived on the ground floor. He was a 60-year-old painter. His lifelong dream was to paint a masterpiece, but that had remained a dream. Sue poured out her worries to Berman. 
she told him how john c was convinced that she would die when the last leaf fell is she stupid asked barman how can she be so foolish she is running a high temperature complained sue she refuses to eat or drink and that worries me a lot i will come with you and see john c barman said they tip toed into the room john c was sleeping sue drew the curtains together and they went to the next room she peeped out through the window there was only one leaf on the creeper it was raining heavily and an icy cold wind was blowing it seemed as though the leaf would fall any minute now barman did not say a word he went back to his room john c woke up next morning in a feeble voice she asked sue to draw the curtains sue was nervous she drew back the curtains very reluctantly oh sue exclaimed as she looked at the wine creeper look there is still one leaf on the creeper it looks quite green and healthy in spite of the storm and the fierce winds it didn't fall i heard the wind last night said john c i thought it would have fallen it will surely fall today then i'll die you won't die said sue energetically you have to live for your friends what would happen to me if you die john c smiled weakly and closed her eyes after every hour or so she would look out of the window and find the leaf still there it seemed to be clinging to the creeper in the evening there was another storm but the leaf did not fall john c lay for a long time looking at the leaf then she called out to sue i have been a bad girl you have looked after me so lovingly and i have not cooperated with you i have been depressed and gloomy the last leaf has shown me how wicked i have been i have realized that it is a sin to want to die sue hugged john c then she gave her lots of hot soup and a mirror john c combed her hair and smiled brightly in the afternoon the doctor came after examining his patient he told sue john c now has the will to live i am confident she'll recover soon now i must go downstairs and see barman he is also suffering from pneumonia but uh, i am afraid there is no hope for him the next morning sue came and sat on john c's bed taking john c's hand in hers she said i have something to tell you mr barman died of pneumonia this morning he was ill for only 2 days the first day the janitor found him on his bed his clothes and shoes were wet and he was shivering he had been out in that stormy night then they found a ladder and a lantern still lighted lying near his bed there were also some brushes and green and yellow paints on the floor near the ladder john c dear said sue look out of the window look at that ivy leaf haven't you wondered why it doesn't flutter when the wind blows that is burman's masterpiece he painted it the night the last leaf fell